Hey, Lee Pennington here. Welcome to this demonstration of Social Spot. Now, Social Spot allows you to create interactive images and display them virtually anywhere that you want, whether it be on Facebook, on your website, or even via the URL that the software provides. And it really couldn't be simpler to use. We begin by uploading an image. Simply click on the icon, then choose where the file lives. Simply open it up. And as soon as it adds to the software, we can then start to add hotspots. Now, what are hotspots? Hotspots are a way of engaging of our audience, engaging our customer and getting them to click on the links that we have displayed with the content that we want to display. We can display virtually any content that you want. We support over 300 platforms ranging all the way from YouTube up to Amazon. We can have blogs, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We can even have the tap to call feature where clients can phone your customers or phone the businesses directly from within the image. So once I choose where I want to add a hotspot, I simply click my mouse. Okay, I select the hotspot type. As you can see, we have social, Skype, tap to call, call to action, custom HTML. We support all the main autoresponders and go to webinar. So we'll begin with social. Okay, and what I'm going to do for this one, I'm simply going to add a YouTube link to display that YouTube video. We all know how powerful video is at this present time directly on the image. So I'm going to put now with the call to action. Watch this now. Okay, I'm going to choose the YouTube icon. Simply go to the YouTube icon. Okay, and I can then, once I've chosen the YouTube icon, I can actually add my um, the exact color of the icon with the slider or with the actual code. So I'm just going to make that large. I'm going to save the hotspot. Now, once the hotspot has been saved to the actual image, like you can see, as I hover over it, I can now watch the video directly from within the image. I can put multiple icons. In fact, there's no limit to the amount of icons that I can have on the image. So we'll just do one more. Okay, and for this one, I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose my Facebook page. I want people to go over and like my Facebook page. So again, I'll go to social for this. I'll paste in my Facebook page and I'll put like this page. Now for more info. Again, I can go and find the Facebook icon, but for this, I'll just choose a random one. Okay, I suppose you love her. Uh, different color, similar to Facebook, and we'll choose that as small. Save the hotspot. Okay, and again, as you can see, the hotspot is saved. It will now grab the information from the URL that provide. It will display that information, and then someone can go directly to my Facebook page from this image. And like I said, this image can be displayed on Facebook. It can be displayed on my website. It can be displayed with the URL that is provided. So, what does it look like with the URL that the software provides? Well, this is one of the images that we did um, just before. Uh, and within this, we put different icons with different platforms that it supports. So we've got the tap to call feature. So if someone's searching via a mobile device, it will phone them directly. So again, you can have clients phone you directly. We've connected to a blog. Okay, we have the opt-in form. So you can have people sign up to your list directly through the software. Okay, again, they can contact you directly via Skype. So if I'm using my desktop, you can choose whether you want them to contact you via chat or via actually ringing you and speaking to you. Okay, we support social surveys from within the software. We do YouTube videos like you've seen. Vimeo is exactly the same. Instagram, Twitter, the list goes on. This was just a demonstration. And this is what the software actually provides. As you can see also the hotspots, or should I say the URL, doesn't link back to the software. So it's a different URL. So again, we have had clients complain in the past saying that you know they didn't want the, the actual URL to link back to the software. So this doesn't do that. How does it look on a Facebook page? So let me just go over back over to the software, go back over to the image. So this is the image that we created within software with the different elements as you can see here different elements so I'll go over to my Facebook page and all I would simply do is put in the URL as soon as I put in the URL on my Facebook page the Facebook page recognizes the URL and will display the image exactly the same so you've got the video that you can display one of the directly from the software okay we have the opt-in so again building my list we can link directly to a website from within the software, as you can see. Uh, and this is just a, a, another demonstration that I link to my lead page. As you can see, the hotspots are also recognized on lead pages. 
anywhere you can put a custom embed code or an embed code you can virtually display these so let's quickly go off that and you can see the twitter there again this is through my lead pages okay so going back over to uh, the facebook page okay so you've got again i can link directly to a facebook page because you can have multiple links from within the images really it is limitless with what you can advertise because that's the other beautiful thing about the software you can actually create facebook ads with these interactive hotspots so it gives your facebook ads a totally new dimension there's that unique value there's that curiosity um you know nobody's seen this kind of um, let's say marketing before especially within facebook ads so you are going to get people clicking on your links and that is shown through the data which is being collected by the software so going back over to the software now okay so from with each image with through one of the packages you can also get the full analytics of people who land on your image is going to collect the data on them the country that they're from the traffic by date the country like you say the traffic by device the operating system the browser what you can also do through each image let's go through one of the images okay you can actually add the tracking code so again we all know how powerful facebook retargeting is so you can add a facebook retargeting tracking pixel to each individual image and again retarget them or anywhere else that provides a custom tracking code you can add this to each individual image and it will collect data and it will fire every time that a person lands on this image okay and let you say with i'm just going to go here with the share facility okay so we've got the public link which is recognized by facebook we've got the embed code which would go on your website or blog or you can share directly to your facebook tab so it will obviously be interactive in the facebook news feed bang in the middle of that and also you can share directly to the facebook tab you can also share the images on other social media sites so you have twitter you have google plus you have linkedin and you have pinterest okay just to tell you that the images will only be interactive within Facebook. The other links will give you a direct link to the actual um, image, to the interactive image. But again, you can get curiosity. You can get people, especially with the ones, um, you know, like Pinterest, which are about images, telling people about interactive images and driving traffic to these. And again, that's why we've done the different social media sharing. Okay. So, like I said, interactive images that can be used directly in Facebook, that can be used through Facebook ads, where you can display virtually anything that you want, CPA offers, affiliate offers, um, whether it be that you're doing Amazon, e-commerce, there isn't very much that you can advertise through these images directly on Facebook, on your website, or through the URL that has been provided. Thank you very much for listening.